today. Um, someone in the comments section on the Fat Chance Show, anyone, um, said that they're looking forward to seeing the final instalment this week. Now, I wasn't expecting to finish it this week, but okay, go on then. I'll rise to the occasion. I'll see if I can rush it together and pull it off. Now, um, I've had a quick look on uh, the B of E and I found a decent set of CNC uh, anodized levers for deliberately for cant levers and for a flat bar. So they'll fit nicely and they've got a bit of a retro kind of look about them. So we're waiting for them to turn up, hopefully that'll be this week. Also we are waiting for another delivery um, from Felix, from I think DPD, he's coming probably in any time now. Um, he's going to be dropping us a parcel and if it is what I think it is, that will hopefully give you an insight into one of the next projects coming up, which will be quite interesting, which I've gathered a lot of the parts I've already thought. Now, here today, some of the parts here that arrived on the bike I got from Alvera were some lovely LX components, and some of them were some really nice XT components. Now, when it comes to my drivetrain, I'd rather have it all as one, so I'd rather have all LX or all XT. Not a bit of one, a bit of the other. No, I'm not, I don't really like that idea. So. I'm going to swap some of the bits out for one bike, swap them to the other. As it goes, luckily, especially for the um, the the XT uh, front mech, both of them are the same seat tube diameter, which isn't massively uncommon for bikes of that era, and both top pull, which is brilliant. Both desperately need to clean. Uh, so other than that, we've got to have a quick look to see what the weight difference is. Is there much difference between an LX and an XT of that era? Um, also. After my little incident with the thumb shifters, um, I've just clocked today when I was up in the loft a Suntor. Now I'm wondering if I have the match inside to that one as well. I might have that one actually. Um, do you think I can justify putting that on a fat chance you're ready? Or do you think that's substandard? Right, so before we go any further, the first thing I want to ask your opinion of. Right, for the fat chance you're ready, we need some wheels. Now, I haven't looked this deep into the wheels yet, but as it goes in the loft, I have some of these. They are the Ritchie, the Rock uh, 395Es. Now, the front one has got some lovely, lovely anodized nipples on. They're really good knit, quite a lot of the times it's anodized fits, but it's got an LX hub on it. Well, this is a power, yeah, it's LX hub. So, um, temporarily, I could live with that. So, if we're to do them, the rear one is matching, which is cool, with a matching LX hub. Felix is here, two seconds. are going on the next next build so that one there says candy apple red and that one's a super chrome now the idea of this is I take this to my powder coaters who's just sort of close to our work and um, who's agreed to do this he base coats my frame with the super chrome and then on top he puts the candy apple red so he has to do it twice after shot blasting it but it'll come out like a certain bike that I'm gonna replicate. Now I've got a lot of parts for this bike already and I always wanted one and when the frame popped up on eBay I picked it up brand new new old stock about 120 quid with matching forks an absolute bargain in the right size just the wrong colour we need it to be candy apple red so, so that is exciting so we're gonna drop that frame today on the way to work so no going in the bike today we're off in the van to go and shoot that through the door though, or in the MR2 keeping it nice Right, so back to where we were. So, we've got the matching Richie wheel for the front, or for the rear, sorry. Um, the rock, this one is the uh, 415E, but downside is no fancy nipples. 
Uh, everyone likes fancy nipples. But so we've got the LX hub again, which is cool. So as soon as I clock them, well right, we're gonna swap them out. So we've got a bag here. Cost about three quid for me, bear, not bad. So I've got an idea in my head, I've built wheels before, no problem. But we're gonna be lazy about this, so I'm gonna back all the nipples off so they're still all connected, and then one by one swap them all out, then put it back in, then level it up and true it up. So hopefully that'll be an easy swap. So that's option one for the Fat Chancho Eddy. Option two is the ones that I was going to use on my Jason McCroy one. So if you haven't seen already, nip back through the videos. Um, I've got the first video of the first dry build for the Jason McCroy. So it's not quite there yet. There's been loads of bits added to it. Um, I've done another video stripping it down. And the frame is currently over at a friend's who's doing the decals to make it very authentic looking. Uh, and then that's going to be following this one to the powder coaters to get coated into red, then deckled. So, this is option two. I can soon get some more ones, uh, some other ones that I'm planning on getting for the um, Jason McCoy one. These are the Mavic 217 Supers. Now, these are quite a heavy rim, like bomb proof, and they've got some real cool hub anodized hubs on. Now, they are from about the same era. I got these on um, a, someone I worked with, had them on a Trek 8000 I bought from him. Um, I don't use the Trek 8000 because it's like 22 inches tall, and um, I'm unfortunately not six foot four. Um, and uh, I'm going to say six foot one. No, no, I'm five ten. But anyway, so there's two options. Hit me up in the comment section below which ones you think, even if it's just a temporary option, which ones we can use on the build. Like say a budget shot this a bit this month, let's say a month, maybe yeah, it probably is by the time it kicked a hole in my bank account for me and chose for the Subaru. So they are the two options. Right, next thing we're gonna look at, the swapping out the XT for the LX. Let's have a zoom in on these. Here we go, let's turn this on. I'm out of camera shot here, but you don't need to see my ugly fog. Right, we're on. We're zeroed. Right, let's run it through these again. We've got the XT, first of all, if we're going to stick the XT on the OED, we're looking at 240 grams minus where you say 242, but you've got a bit of crud and crap on there that can come off, so that could soon drop that way. It's 240, a realistic 240 grams. Now, if we're going to swap out onto Alvaro's bike the LX that I've got to replace it, it would knock Alvaro's up by 50 grams. So, not a massive amount, it's big, I suppose two ounces is a big clump of mud, isn't it? But that would look hellishly sweet on the Fat Chance you Not as nice as an XTR. I've got an XTR on the Jason McCoy ones. I would love another one. I'll keep my eye out for one. But in the meantime, that would be a nice pacifier. So in the meantime, what we've got with the LX and the XT on the front mechs. 136 grams. Yeah, give or take a gram for mud. Now this one for the LX. Oh. Uh, right, so that's lighter. The LX is lighter. I didn't expect that. I thought with the LX being um, the slightly lower spec, I expected that to be, although it is slightly newer, I expected that to be a little bit heavier. So, if we were to bundle them together and stick them on the bike against them, the XT are coming in at about 50 grams lighter. And the reason being is that the Alvaro's bike is running the LX so it would be nice to keep all that LX. So these are desperately needing the clean up. So you see there if we bundle them together to work as an LX group set we're gonna put on two ounces in weight. Not too much of an issue for that one. And the XT will look quite sweet on the Yoedi. Now for crank sets for the Yoedi I've got a Saguna that I've polished up and it looks lovely. Some people might say it's not suitable, but I like it. Um, we'd all like uh, a Crank Brothers or something like that, but at the moment, the budget's not there for that. So like I say, we're gonna see if we can find the other thummy for that one, for the Suntor, um, and we might have to just deal with them. So these need a clean up. Personally, when I clean them up, I like to use White Spirit, something like that. If you've got something like the old STX RC or the old STX, they've got this little thing uh, sticker on here, you can see coming off. Now, if you're using White Spirit, that quite often pulls them off. But just keep it aside, give it a nice little clean. The white spirit doesn't seem to really bother the decals that much other than disrupts the glue. So if you put that face down on the cloth and get a bit of contact spray, put that back on, stick it on when you've finished cleaning. Um, 
To clean him, I usually use a white spirit, like I just said. Uh, but another plus side, if, if you get yourself uh, a compressor, or if your budget's not there, or you don't have the room for a compressor, fair enough. Get these cleaned up in white spirit, and get yourself on Facebook. Have an ask about them. Some of your friends probably have one somewhere, sat in the garage, or the boss at work might have one. All you need is a set of glasses, turn up with your bag full, with all this already pre-soaked, and just ask them to spend 10 minutes just using their airline, just blow it all off. It takes minutes and it saves down so any of it with water and risking rusting, because obviously the white spirit is not going to allow it to rust. But then after, they just need a bit of a re-grease or touch up with paint if that's what you want. But the compressor is a very, very good way of doing it with compressed air. So yeah, just watch your eyes because the bits go all over, get some goggles on, safety goggles. Uh, if you get time, I'll give you a little demo on that one, but it does do a really, really good job. It gets in all the little nuts and crannies. You could be there for hours with toothbrushes and stuff like that. But give them a good soak with the, tooth, uh, with the white spirit and toothbrush and get it all a good rub in to get it all loosened up. But when we go over it with the compressed air, it blows all of it out. They say, have a look on your socials. You'll always find someone who's got one somewhere. And to rock up with a bag full of stuff, it takes you 10 minutes to blow it all off. Uh, just buy a pack of beer or something. It's, uh, it, it's a lot easier than sitting there with a the cloth for hours and hours and hours. Right, for the fat chance also, we have got these, the early grips that turned up. Now, I was a bit disappointed with the colour on these. This isn't exactly how they were supposed to look. I'll put this picture on that, I'll show you. So, there's a three quid option. I picked these up and I thought, well, I'll try again with the colour situation. I'll see if I can get something that's a lot nicer colour. And that is the colour that it claims on eBay. Now, that is the option. Now these rocked up and they are literally the colour on the picture. So uh, they're a content, I think we're going to go with them. So, I've got some work to do now. I've got all this chain set to start stripping down and getting these blown off. So remember, get in the comment section below. If you, today, if you can do one thing that's good, please help me decide which wheels we can go with. But I've only got this week to do it, so you need to be speedy because I need to be swapping them nipples over if you decide to choose the riches. So we need to get on with that really, really quickly. So for me, that is it. I'm out of here. I'm going to have to start cleaning these bits up. So until tomorrow, thank you very much for watching. And if you think these uh, videos are standard or substandard, let us know. Or if you feel they're good, give us a fat thumbs up. Also, if you like these and you want to see them regular, please subscribe and hit that Bell. If you hit that bell, you'll get a notification every time I upload, which is every single day. Now, every day. It's always something bike related, every single day. Right, so until tomorrow, thank you very much for watching. See you again soon. I am on a whole nother level. Girl, he only fought you over cause you let him. I guess he didn't know any better. Girl, that man didn't show me ever. Do all I can just to show you you're special. Certain it's your love that holds me together.